Salinas has been formed on the back of about 20 person years worth of research into the utilisation of biomass for the production of chemicals, for the production of fuels and for the production of energy. And we've developed very specific analytical methodologies for doing this within our laboratories. And now we are forming a spin-out company, Salinas Limited, that will offer this as a service to industry and members of the public that would like to characterise their biomass. We're taking the risk out of the analysis of biomass. We have specific laboratories, specific equipment and highly trained personnel for the characterization of samples. And we have done this in a very robust manner. We offer two main uh, methods for this analysis. We do the wet chemical technique, and, and in that we do a very precise characterization of the important components for production of biofuels, for the production of energy, and for the production of platform chemicals from biomass, uh, from energy crops, and from waste materials. We also offer a very uh, advanced and proprietary technique using near-infrared spectroscopy and in that we can rapidly analyse your sample. Within one day of receipt of the sample we can have scanned it and provide you with the results online for that sample. And we have developed this method on a wide range of samples that uh, cover different types of biomass and different types of properties and we have shown that they can be extremely accurate in their prediction for all of these. The role of Carbolia is to try to use lignocellulosic feedstocks to produce platform chemicals for the production of pharmaceuticals, uh, commodity chemicals and fuels for the future to replace the petrochemicals, the oils, when they eventually run out. So we use the Salignus technology to help us identify which feedstocks are best for the products that we want to produce. So we use the Salignus technology essentially as a screening tool. This Lignus technology allows us to do this in a shorter time period, in a less labour-intensive way, getting very, very good results in a fraction of the time and a fraction of the cost. Our current infrared model uh, predicts 14 compositional parameters ranging from, ranging from cellulose, ash, lignin, hemicellulose, extractives. Our techniques could be applied to uh, producers of waste materials or handlers of waste biomass. Municipal solid wastes are one example of this type of material. Forestry residues, wood wastes, brown bin wastes, all these different varieties of waste that vary significantly in their composition over the course of a year and over the course of a particular location. And these effects of varying composition have significant effects also on the yields that you could obtain from processing all these different feedstocks in different technologies. If you want to determine the value of your biomass for production of fuels, chemicals and energy, come visit us at salignus.com.